study on the situation of people with disabilities conducted by Lenford in 2011 reported that people with disabilities are comparatively the most socially and economically marginalized people in the South, with least access to education and economic resources. As per the finding of this study, almost all services meant for general public use are inaccessible to this group. The study further reported that the situation of people with disabilities results from the disability in exclusive policies, plans, programs, and governmental budget. Moreover, Lenford also conducted a study in 2015 titled The Study on Disability-Friendly Laws. This study reported that there is quite a number of disability discriminatory laws in force in Lesotho. These disability discriminatory laws equally contribute to this ordeal of people with disabilities. Um, this, the reason why this project has been um, established is that we have realized that persons with disabilities experience inequalities in terms of access to job opportunities, uh, access to health, education, and other social services. Uh, most of the time they are left out of the decisions uh, that are being made by their communities and their country, and they remain behind as a result. Uh, so we felt as an organization that we need to uh, come up with the strategy that could help us to ensure that the decision makers of this country are aware of the rights of people with disabilities and they also uh, take them into account while they are planning. Lesotho recently experienced the political and security challenges, as a result of which SADC recommended that Lesotho undertake reforms in the following sectors, security, parliament, law and constitution, as well as public service. The reforms contemplated by Lesotho present a greatest opportunity for better inclusion of people with disabilities across all spheres of life. This opportunity would only lead to inclusion of people with disabilities if only this group meaningfully participate in reforms through its free chosen representatives. So we want to take this opportunity as an organization to make sure that issues of people with disabilities are well catered for in all these aspects because <coughs> as you may know that it is quite difficult to um, change the constitution. So at least this time we may be able to change it because we will be using this opportunity that has been opened up by the process of reforms. So currently this program, its, its, its objective is to make sure that persons with disabilities uh, are well represented in the reformed parliament. So what, will, what, what, what is going to happen is that uh, we are advocating for um, the, the inclusion or the participation of people with disabilities uh, in the structure that, that is going to be formed, that is going to coordinate the, the reforms. Uh, so that those people with disabilities who will be representing others in, the, in that structure will be able to influence the government to uh, make sure that the, the, the upcoming or the reformed parliament uh, has self-representation of people with disabilities. We have realized for quite a, a long time that uh, our parliament does not have self-representation of people with disabilities and as a result the parliament keeps on passing laws that are discriminatory on the, basis with the, on the basis of disability and the budget is, is not uh, allocated to people with disabilities and as a result they remain behind and they suffer a lot uh, because there is nobody actually who is um, voicing out their concerns in the parliament. So we thought that this is, this is a good opportunity for us as an organization that we could use to advance the rights of people with disabilities by having the representation. With the support from OSISA, Lenford is implementing an intervention which has the following objectives. One, to secure self-representation of people with disabilities in the Constitutional Reforms Commission and secure permanent quota of seats in the new parliament for people with disabilities. Two, equipping the selected representatives of people with disabilities with disability and human rights advocacy skills so that they could be able to clearly and concisely articulate concerns of people with disabilities before the reforms committee, which is the structure created to facilitate reforms. Three, to advocate for the development and implementation of inclusive education and its implementation plan. To ensure that institutions of higher learning are providing teacher training curriculum course aligned to the nation 
National Inclusive Education Policy by 2019. To achieve these objectives, Lenford has created a task force teams on reforms, which shall represent the disability community before the reforms committee and lies with the disability focal persons in the community councils to ensure that what it puts before the committee is representative of the disability community in this world. When we are heading towards the reform pro process, people with disabilities are so willing to see their issues being included when they are reviewing the laws, when they are reforming the constitution. They want to be represented in the National Assembly, they want to be represented in the Senate. That is why you see them in large numbers attending these meetings. Isa legele batwa wambati tele la ngo kwa kwa mala wa motel. Dinto zenga tanya na kwa batwa na lebo kwa diki ni dito ba kwenye kwa na kusina di 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 petroze ba nteng kwa kwa paramenti hawa ya uliwa nuli batwa na lebo kuwa. Mera sere kupa ori uele matata wana a na nelo kwa kwa paramenti me a pere kupa ori kwa kwa paramenti. Patwana le bokwa ba bele boemedi wa tswa di khansi wa tswa tlase di khansi le boemedi bo beteng e lo gore go tlo go tsiwa di tlhoko tsa batwana le bokwa ka o fapana so um we are also consulting with people with disabilities on the ground to get their ideas as to uh, what they want the reforms to uh, to to bring about the changes which they they want as uh, people with disabilities uh, as a result we are conducting consultative meetings with people with disabilities and so far we have uh, conducted these meetings in about uh, six districts which is uh, Butabote, Leribe, Berea, Maseru, Mafeteng and uh, Mohanzu. Uh, we have heard from people with, with disabilities how they want the reforms uh, to be and we are happy that uh, most of them actually they uh, recognize the importance of uh, be engaged in this process so that they could uh, voice out their concerns and their issues and their rights could also be addressed through this process. Uh, most of them actually <laughs> they have indicated that there is a, a need for the self-representation of people with disabilities in the parliament so that they are able they will be able to uh, to, to, to work out their issues and they could also advise the, the government or the parliament as to how their issues could be uh, addressed. Uh, that is uh, quite uh, important uh, for us you know, as, an, as an organization to have such a, a representation because we understand that uh, most of the challenges are currently are brought by the fact that persons with disabilities are not there in the decision making bodies of Lesotho. ke tsa mogotlo wa thwana le bokwa bo le kutlo ke utlise sore e hle tabeng tsena tsene tse di bua ka je no mona re tlame hore ga lwanya le hore melao e meng e tshentshwe e ska hatella ba thwana le bokwa bo le kutlo sello sa so holo ha holo sa gona ke hore ge be le bua matso hore ge khona hore ho hle mo ga ndiseletso ge fumana ditaba tsa gona ka bo fumana ditseletso jolo ka motho e mong le mong fela ithopo <laughs> e ka stana le tsona di sebediswa tse balwang di ke di fetolelwe breiling ba thomba gona go bala ka matso empa ba ba bonang ha nyenyana ba ke ba etse tswe gore ba ngole ba ngolwe mongolono o mogolo o batla gona go bala in the constitution and the parliament we would like to have the representation of people with disabilities from the parliament and from the uh, community councils. For instance, we are having the law in the Amendment Act of uh, 2011, which says that 
the representation in the uh, community sector should be a zebra. That means uh, the, the, the male and the female. So we as, uh, we as disabled people, we would like to break that. We like to have a disabled people, male and a female, and all other uh, people who would like to be included in that, in, in that uh, councils. And also, we'd like to change some of the uh, acts in the, in the constitution like uh, CPNE 219, which says that the mentally disabled or intellectual people should not have a right to to use evidence in the cause of law, so we'd like to break that. So as Lanford, we want to see disabled people being self-represented in every sector. When we are talking about the Senate or the Parliament, when we are talking about maybe the Human Rights Commissions and the other setups, it will be vital when people with disabilities are self-represented because they will be having those people who will talk about the issues that they exactly know. They are not going to exaggerate. They are not going to, uh, to, to, to say maybe it will be fine when we do it this way. They will be talking about what they really know. They will know and the hardships that people with disabilities are facing in their day-to-day living ha go asheba ha tlolwa tsa molao di diteng mo di mabathwana le bokwa ba kelelo ha di nkuwe ba ne ho thwe bopaki ba hae ha bo titiane ba ne ha gone ho ikagabella me ka ona go kopa mo thwe ona le bokwa ba kelelo a ikemela a fwe tukelo tsa ikemela ka go lokhotla e nwe hape ke ya melawana e ba khetholang jwalo ka mehlala wa go ha ba lokela go nyala ka bo nyalwa ba di ngwelwe go ya ka ho gata ka go ya ka mo motho ka kwa nga ba tla ya ka teng go se ka ba le melao e thibelang ho ga le bona ba be le bo ikgethelo itebense ba amantsa bo phelo lo tukelo ya bona ya go ba khethe dikgethou tse ya ka gatsana tsona tsona tsa puso ya dibaka go bana nene ba tlotla ba fumana bo sebeletsi go kopa go mola o dumelo go le bona ba khethe ke tlopo bo tshemmo re tlamela ho re melao e mong if it do let Hoshi will bring your own Yamazo. How long hold it in Zama Hood? Reborn a hobba, Twan and Lugo, Bolly Good, Bahana Hobba, Ganama Hooding, Gazel Elegan, Labatwas Namuga, Bolly Good, Gabuia Hona Yamazo, Riscarabel, Laga Tuko Ho Hag, Rabel Duga, Jologa Maliman, Adulan, the Sutumona, Yapilan, the Sut. There was only a Dutra Hale. Mona Mohua Buan Duga. Cabo, Mahutli, Batwana Libuqua Bapono, who fit Shamola, Wahore, Haiba Mutana Libuqua Bapon, A A A A Tanizu Hore, Abega Hutla Fanegabu Paiki, Mo I in Jing Hamdi, who's got Trina, and now Tai Puella Ranga Sabun, who go home, Mame, Re, Kapa, who who is to Hore Abelum Willi, Yatla, Emela Tabata High. Hore Liana aske ya hatelo a be le tuka moibang o hlikifiditse. E tla me ho mola o matlafatso o motwana le bokwa ba pot. Motho wa motseba. Ha re ke belaela le nyi wa ntsinjina. E hle o motseba ka botlalo ke nyi wa ntsinjina. Me mola o no tla me wa matlafatso o motwana le bokwa ba pot. O na le mogao ga ikemele ka go le khotla. Me khatlo ya rona e fue monyetla wa hore. In a public sector, uh, we would like uh, disabled people to have to be included. For instance, uh, each and every sector or every uh, ministry should give two percent, or should, uh, workers should work for. We should include workers for two percent in each and every uh, ministry. That means if the workers are hundred, two of them should be people with disabilities, 
in private sectors and para, in, in the private sectors and, and the ministries, government ministries. Mo hua lua misebeti. Sekala sateng sebebu faatwe. Hau fitwa hobo. Naka waba fuwe minyetla. Ya wale wana wajana kaka misebeti. Kusa natu mae mo abona. Eh, hai fitwa nkenya. Gusebeleti. Kapo pano nyadi sebeletu. Gile yu batuwa nalibu kwa wapono. Recupero <laughs> Disabilidad <laughs> Disability grant a gave it in for a honor pillar, handle or not a look about Baba. Me is gay ahead. Take a refue, Joloka Hamaku Afua Huyaka, or a kill pig, Gusana Zorena, Una Ling Dulaman Jaluja. But Lao is a hero who you robot. Whatever Mutan Lubuava born, Lahas, I cannot school, Lah, I cannot school. Hona len tu haga ye zang mule mungwa le suto le basuto wana haya abu bona istera lega la pinga haya kapo wote mwa pelandi di tukuru hundi hoba nefera hundi inki kike lelo iye kwa na wai imu tuisa wai a kwa na wapi juali mtu yemo nka po kiza mbora kiza malau mtu yano ba inka ili tuwa fela ba wana ba kala ba ushewa ba wana ba kuapi ababu ni mtu mtu yano tamia wai saku le hore. Mutuaska wana bokuwa piru humutu abone mutu ana lebo kuwa bokuwa tabo tisa kamera utla bona na habo kuna leba sutu ba bokuna kita chala pi. But wana lebo kuwa hagulu ba masab kiba tujolo kapatu ba bang hagulu belu kaha ona linjuzi zezuang kai kapagai ibi ba siwa imba baga na ba kona. That is our state and the main thing that Landford is working on is to make sure that the disability equity bill passes as a law or enacted in the parliament. Also, we are enforcing that the disability inclusive education policy should be adopted so that uh, the people with disabilities are being taken care of in this country. And as Landford, we are going to work hard to see the inclusivity of people with disabilities in the reform processes, as well as seeing the people with disabilities being represented in the structures that are gonna be set up for the reform processes. So that when we talk of issues concerning disability, we know exactly that there are those people who will adhere to those things. And we are hoping that with this, um, um, consultations we will be able to inform our report that we will be sharing with the uh, reform commission after it has been uh, established and uh, we will also be sharing this uh, report with the um, portfolio committee that is responsible for uh, these issues uh, in the parliament and we uh, have already met uh, some members of the of this um, uh, parliamentary committee in which we were sharing with them uh, our views concerning how these reforms should be catering for the rights of people with disabilities and we have got a very good feedback from them and we're hoping that with this project then we'll be able to um, ensure that the rights of people with disabilities are explicitly uh, addressed uh, by the parliament and, and the laws that will be under the reforms. <laughs>